And as you heard there from across the political spectrum, Jared, a uh, and, and use of the word sad. It was sad to watch, uh, according to the 2008 Obama campaign manager. For many Democrats, they're scratching their heads and wondering, and in panic mode, can they make a late shift ahead of the the election, Jared? That's the question they're all asking. I mean, it's not much good news. There's a lot of bad news uh, from tonight. Um, Joe Biden's job was really to show up and to show he was lively and have a performance um, at least close to the sort that he had at the State of the Union earlier this year where he showed he was lively. He showed that he um, he knew the, the, the facts of the debate. He, he knew how to trade barbs with Republicans. He didn't do that. The good news for Joe Biden is that it's still very early in the campaign. Let's not forget that this is a very early um, debate. Um, the next debate is in September. And as of right now, neither of those can candidates are actually the official party candidates. This is first time in modern history they're, they're doing this debate uh, across parties uh, before they've actually sent, uh, clinched the nomination. And so the good news is that Joe, for Joe Biden is that he has some time to make this up if he wants to. The other good news is, as I've said before, that this is not the first time a sitting president has not done well on their first debate. Um, as I've said, they are accustomed to being treated like the president of the United States. They're not accustomed to hostile environments. They're not accustomed to hostile debate um, environments with someone really trying to get under their skin, mentioning their family, trying to basically trigger them to be as unpresidential as possible. Whereas Donald Trump has been, you could say, preparing since January of 2021 for this very debate. And so I think in many ways, it's it's not a good news uh, date for Joe Biden, but there still is a lot of runway to go until November. Yeah, and I think that's actually probably better news from the Democratic Party than, than Biden because they can uh, somehow look at a plan B because uh, the performance on tonight's effort really doesn't look like it can be viable heading into November. I want to play you a little of the exchange. This was on the issue of Afghanistan. Let's have a look. When he was president, there were still killing people in Afghanistan. He didn't do anything about that. When he was president, we were still finding ourselves in a position where you had a notion that we were this safe country. The truth is, I'm the only president this century that doesn't have any, this, this decade, that done any troops dying anywhere in the world. And as far as Afghanistan is concerned, I was getting out of Afghanistan, but we were getting out with dignity, with strength, with power. He got out. It was the most embarrassing day in the history of our country's life. So there, there you've got uh, the good contrast of the style, Jared. There might be many commentators and, and uh, Democratic commentators and operatives who will be saying that Donald Trump told many myths truths, but he was coherent, he was able to cut through, and the contrast was very stark. That's, that's a really good point. Um, I think a lot of people will try to judge debates on the policy and whether they answer the policy questions and whether their policies make sense, whether their, their sort of um, account of their policy platforms and their accomplishments are relevant. In many ways, though, this, these debates are not about policy. They're, uh, they're performative. They're about, to, they're about whether someone looks presidential. And right now, um, the Democrats are concerned that as much as Joe Biden, especially in the latter parts of the debate, was able to show that he is across a lot of huge policy debates ranging from Afghanistan to Ukraine, um, that he did not show the part of the personality of what they want a strong and, and, um, uh, and really um, confident uh, U.S. president to be. And so, yes, Afghanistan, there's, there's a lot of debate to be had there about whether um, J Donald Trump really was executing the sort of withdrawal that Joe Biden ended up doing or, or any withdrawal at all. And if anything, you saw that Donald Trump kicked the can down the road a number of times. And then Joe Biden, um, because of, of who he is and what he'd been saying since the Obama administration, only executed what uh, Trump had, had started. And there's a debate there about who did what and when. But again, does that matter? I don't think it matters as much. At the end of the day, 
the debate in so many ways is about the performance. And what we remember from prior debates as well is performances and one-liners, not the policy platforms. And on, on that front, you have to say that hmm. Joe Biden did not live up to the standards that his team had hoped he would. Jared Munshin, great to get your insights.